So hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. And the Necroscope. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? We've actually now travelled down from Calm. I've been levelling up in this area quite extensively. We now have everybody's second level limit break. Well, second of the first level limit breaks. Um Nothing major. I mean, I've leveled up. Oddly, Ree's got 666 health. Evil bastard. <coughs> we were leveling up, really. I was waiting to get the level 4 suicide skill. Because the enemies in this area don't use it very often. So anyway, let's get on with our, you know, next part of the game. Welcome to the Chocobo Farm. Should we go talk to the Chocobo? Let's answer with Wark. Oh, I didn't like that. Answer with that Wark. Oh yeah, baby, we got our first summoning materia. Who to give it to? I think I was to give it to Ares. I hardly ever use sense anyway. Ha, huh, that's a pun in itself. Never mind. Anyway, we have to go to the Chocobo farm. Yeah, I am actually. Very true, the Midgar's Olive is quite scary. Well, we could go purchase a. Um... We're gonna go purchase now a Chocobo Lure material. So let's go in here, have a chat to this guy. I do want to chuck her Fine, we'll do just that. I'm not interested, personally. Hmm, we'll take a chuck her over. What else does this guy sell? He only sells greens. <coughs> it's not that important, really. We'll go now. But we will equip the chocolate ball in this area. And we'll give it to Cloud. Right, let's heal ourselves up a bit. We didn't really stock up on supplies very carefully before we left Midgar, or that area, so... But yeah, I am. Yeah, we'll have a sleep in this place. Right. <clears throat> now, if you're looking... At that fury stage as I was just putting on to people. That's actually a negative one, but I prefer it. Because it allowed your limit break gorges to fill a lot quicker. Now what you're supposed to do at this part is you're supposed to walk on those chocobo tracks and catch a chocobo. Because if you look at this lake of sand can you see something moving over there in that corner? Can you see it? Get ready. 
ready, folks. Hello, Midgazolin. You're supposed to actually do this a lot differently. Um, you're supposed to get a chocobo and then actually cross the thing, cross the mark on the chocobo. Then you don't even have to fight this clown. But we're not doing it that way. Look at the damage this guy does. Let's get the lunatic out of here. You can't seem to poison this guy. Take some matcha magic, bitch. Uh oh, that's not good. That is not good. You know what that means, folks? He's gonna flick one of our characters away in a minute. Let's get ready for it. Who's he gonna flick? Eris is gonna break. Let's seal evil this fool. Then if I'm right. I doubt it's worked on him though. Ooh. You'll be a bit of a bastard. Take a quake. We're kicking this fool's ass. Um, Matcha magic, healing wind, cross slash. Holy moly, that hurt. This could really screw things up, folks. In fact, it's probably going to cost us the match. Oh yeah, flicking somebody away. You prick. Trust it to be Cloud as well, our most powerful. This isn't going well now. Attack Eris. Oh, you missed. That's perfect. Take a match of magic. Boom. Hit us all you want, you little fool. It's not going to do anything. What is that, yeah? We're screwed, though, if, if he actually manages to get a critical. Then we're really friends. Fairly close to death, I think. Oh no. Oh no. This is gonna hurt. 
like somebody. Bye bye, Ray. That didn't go too well, did it? However, I bet it hasn't even registered that we learnt it. No. Balls to you then. Looks like we're doing that again. There with us, folks. There we are again, folks. And I've changed the material setup a little bit. 